Now, let me give you the timeline of what happens after you die. Number one is this, your body dies. And it says also that you die once and after that, the judgment. Matter of fact, MIT and Harvard both agree that one out of one persons die. That's a juicy stat right there. That is delish. Number two, your soul leaves your body. Matthew 10, 28 says, don't be afraid of those who can kill... The uh, who can kill the body but cannot kill the soul, rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. See, those that go to hell don't get a glorified body. It's your soul that is in hell. The scripture says burning for eternity. As soon as you die, eternity begins. Third thing happens after you die, you'll be judged. You're like, oh, well, that's just for lost people. No, it's for saved people too. Let me read a few verses to you. First Peter 1 Peter 1.17 says, and remember that the heavenly father to whom you pray it says to the God whom you pray has no favorites. He will judge or reward you according to what you do. Not what you think, not what you hope, not what you walked in on prayed a prayer for, what you do. So you must live in reverent fear of God during your time here as what? Temporary residence. This is not my home. And there's so many people that have got roots and roots and roots and roots and roots in this earth when it should be in heaven.